Rise. Before I make my final decision, I want to tell you that though I appreciate your efforts, I'm concerned about what happened the other night. That was just a misunderstanding. He wants to be with us. Did he tell you that? Ms. Allen, would you share your interpretation of the situation? Yes. <clears throat> uh, a child in this type of crisis, still grieving his parents, would certainly not want to go against a choice made by those parents, having to some degree internalized and blamed himself for the loss. That burden of guilt would render him utterly incapable of making an autonomous choice. Oh, cut the crap. Excuse me. I have two cents, and I'd like to put them in. I'm Waylon's great aunt, you know. Very well. Your Honor, this is... Highly unusual. I know this whole case is highly unusual. You may proceed. May I sit? That's the idea. If it please the court. I don't quite know where I'm going with that, but that's what they always say on those law shows. <laughs> So in any case, may it please the court. I adored my beautiful niece, Bethy, and her lovely Tim. And for some reason, they made these two, their precious sons, godparents. And over some months, I have found that Reginald and Julia are crazy, willful, passionate, headstrong oddballs. But... <laughs> See, that's exactly what Tim and Bethy wanted for their child. And they're raising him with love and freedom and imagination. And as strange as this may sound, in my observation, these three have made the most remarkable of entities a happy family. And so you see, it's not simply the right choice. It's the only choice. And if it pleases the court, I have a beautiful young nephew who's waiting all this out in an antechamber. What he needs is this crazy family, not a court case. Your Honor, these people have had 10 different careers between them in the last that is five not years. True. They bounce from relationship to relationship, apartment to apartment. Uh, objection. Who is to say they wouldn't change their minds again? As you can see, between these two delayed adolescents and a wacky aunt... She is not wacky. They're all wacky. People, I've reviewed all of the reports. No one is going to tell me something I don't already know. I'll announce my decision after a brief recess. In the meantime, why don't you all hone up on Robert's rules of order? They're ready for you now. We're up. Oh, thank you. Come on, guys. First, let me say that I don't want to encourage this type of arrangement. People can't just leave a child to whomever they want without discussing the matter with all parties beforehand. But sometimes things aren't normal. And sometimes parents know what they're doing, even if they do it all wrong. Custody is hereby granted to Julia Bellows and Reg Robilotti. Yes! <laughs> Well? We can go home now. <gasps> Thank you very much, Judge. Yeah, we weren't sure about you at first, but uh, thank you. Oh, here, you have to sign this. Oh, sure. And by the way, you can stop pretending to be a couple. We're not a couple. And we know that you know we're not. <laughs> Funny. You've been acting like one. <laughs> He's so slow sometimes. Oh, Grace, yeah. Come on. Okay. Oh, yeah. I'm catching you. I'm catching you. Yeah. Come on, 
the double digits, which is a big deal, according to Rick and Julia. They told me I better enjoy my youth while I have it, because I'll only be an adolescent for like uh, another 30 years or so. They told me that I'm going to be Reg's best man. I'm starting to feel like everyone around here is growing up fast. So, that's our story. Hope you enjoyed it.